All right, peoples, welcome to the new food week. Yeah, foodies. I, I think I said that in the last video, foodies. I don't know, that kind of stuck there. So uh, let's get to it, it's Friday night. We're gonna throw down some uh, party chicken wings because it's kind of family night. We're gonna go do, eat these and go watch a movie here. So we got the wings um, from Costco. Go ahead and throw those down. A um, little salt and pepper, actually not salt, just some pepper and some garlic salt up on there. And then those will go in the oven for about 45 minutes, maybe an hour at 400 degrees until they get all nice and crispy and they're just mm, real nice, Clark. All right, guys, working on the homemade ranch. So, give you the deets here. Small lemon, lemon about that big, I don't know, not very big, probably a little bit bigger than an egg. I used a small lemon, juiced it all, threw it in there. Three quarters of a cup, three quarters of a cup coconut milk, three quarters of a cup um, mayonnaise of whatever flavor, and then I do quarter cup dill, quarter cup parsley, quarter cup chives, tablespoon of garlic powder, and a teaspoon of onion powder, and a little bit of uh, ground cracked pepper, freshly ground cracked pepper. You just mix it up with the whisk may have to add a skosh of this depending on, it'll come out pretty thick that way. If you like your ranch a little bit runnier, just add a little bit more of this and keep whisking this in until you, re you reach your desired consistency. Bada boom, bada bang, all mixed up, dressed up, ready to be uh, devoured. So that's what it looks like. Stick her in the fridge for about an hour till dinner time. If it's one of those things you can make the night before, Make it the night before, the longer it sits, the better it tastes. All right guys, I figured I'd give you guys a quick rundown on our mashed potatoes because I'm sure some of you are thinking that those can be heavy and fat and cream and butter and yada, 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 yada. So I'm gonna show you guys how we do it. Pretty simple, pretty, pretty simple. So I did, I did the potatoes, got them fork tender, threw some garlic up in there so far, and then we just used chicken stock and we will do Probably about that much. I throw the beaters here, electric beaters in here, blend it all up till it's nice and creamy. Might add just a little bit more chicken stock. And that's it, that's how we do our mashed potatoes. There's no butter, there's no nothing. They're, I mean, they're pretty healthy really, other than the fact that they're a potato. So we don't add any, any junk. To and just like that, after about 20 seconds and about another third of a cup of broth we have got ourselves got ourselves some creamy mashed potatoes and that is how that is okay so the sweet potatoes I had all diced up fork tender in the water got them in the Vitamix here we're gonna add probably about that to start out with do a couple cranks of the pepper in there so I added about another third of a cup of liquid turned it on blended it smoking Basically what you get is baby food out of that. But Christine and Tennessee, they just love this. They lick the bowl up. So that's how we do our sweet taters, guys. Okay guys, the chicken wings just came out of the oven. You can still see they're still sizzling and popping and snapping. So they were partially frozen from when I got them from Costco and pulled them out tonight. So they took an hour. That's what they look like at right at one hour at 400 degrees. All right guys, so here's the difference. You got one that's got the traditional potatoes and you got the one that has the sweet potatoes. They kind of look green tonight and I don't know why. That's just weird, maybe it's the lighting. So you got that going on for you. And then we've got the ranch right there, yeah. So quick breakdown, obviously tonight, the bulk price of the dinner was the wings. So with the wings, the potatoes, the sweet potatoes, the carrots, you know, the ranch that I made with the coconut milk because that's can be quite expensive and all the herbs and stuff. I ran everything through, the, uh, through my mind, wrote it all down kind of quickly or whatever, and we are between $18.50 and $19. So take that for what it is. So this is a less than a $20 dinner, um, and we're probably going to have leftovers. We always have probably enough chicken wings for a couple of the kids to have lunch tomorrow. So $20 for the whole meal, 19 and some change, 18 and some change, round it up to 20, call it a day. That's what you got guys. That is what's for dinner on Friday night, later.
All right, guys, the, the, <clears throat> excuse me, the smoking is done. So what's left of it here, we had, uh, how do I say, there's two rack, or there was a slab there, there was a slab there, and there's a slab there. So we got three slabs of ribs out of the packaged meat. It wasn't the normal pack that I normally get. I usually just get regular straight up ribs, but these were called St. Louis style ribs. They were vacuum packed and I did not know there was three in there. I assumed there was only two because they were a little bit bigger. Come to find out there's three. So all of this will be left over dinner tomorrow. So this made two dinners when we weren't planning on making it two dinners. So got that going on. Mashed potatoes, which are Yukon Golds with the skins left on. And then all of our salad fixing stuff. So, bam, that's what you get right there. I like a little onion on my taters. I little, little, little thing you didn't know about me there. I like little onions on there. So, that's what we got for dinner tonight on um, Sunday night. So, the price breakdown on this was about <clears throat> a little over $34 for everything. That's all the salad stuff, the potatoes, the meat, everything. So $34 and that's going to be two dinners, so it'd be $17 a dinner for five people. So whatever that math ends up coming out to be, I don't know, $3, $2.80 a meal or something like that. So that's what we got going on for tonight, Sunday night. Y'all have a good week. Later. Howdy guys, what is up? Today is the start of a brand new week. I have a little girl home with me. Her school, only one of three girls' schools, got called for a snow day. So. She's at home living it up with mama today. And I am throwing this in the crock pot chicken Alfredo. My hubby um, prepped some meals for us while I worked yesterday and I'm so, so grateful. So this looks really good. We modified this. This is a family freezer recipe. She called for um, heavy cream and Parmesan cheese. We went without the parm and then we substituted co coconut milk and I for the cream and I think it's gonna turn out just fine. So we are gonna go ahead and put this in the crock pot on probably high because look how late I am to the party. Then I remembered my husband had ribs from last night. So we're gonna have ribs left over and ch chicken Alfredo. I'll probably make some pasta to go up with this tonight. Okay guys, here we go. We almost forgot to film, to be honest. It looks We good. were supposed to have some ribs left over, but apparently everyone <laughs> thought ribs would be good for lunch today. So we're having spinach good. Alfredo over pasta. Yummy though. This is a modified version without cream. It actually looks really good. I kind of tasted it and it, it tastes really yummy. It's late. Dinner came out way late tonight, but how much? Between 13 and 14 bucks for the whole deal. For the whole dinner, five yeah, people. Five people. 14 bucks, expensive groceries. Like, I'll take it. There you go. What do you have great. in mind for our new videos after this week? Our new dinner videos? Well, I can't tell you guys. You just gotta come in and check out the new videos. There's like, gonna be some zigging and zagging and a little bam right there. You guys are gonna be like, whoa. <laughs> whoa. I love right? you. Right? You guys are going to be below. Like, I'm shaking the camera. I'm like <laughs> laughing. Let me put this down. <laughs> it can only get better. Yeah, we're like educating ourselves in new editing software. And it's yep. just our brains hurt. We've been learning so much. Yep, yep. You guys will like it. It'll be a It'll pure be benefit fun. to you guys. So yeah. stay tuned. Not, well, this, it might be this video, huh? It'll be this video that's all fancified. All right, I don't know. Up. It depends how fast we'll you're willing to jump into Final we'll Cut Pro. We'll see how it gets there. <laughs> okay. Anyway, guys, this is uh, Monday Night's nice Dinner. Thanks, babe. Later. All right, food freaks. <laughs> Somebody made dinner tonight. What did we make? Every time you see me, we're always making tacos. Well, that's because I was too lazy and I had you start it on the way while I was driving home. So we got our uh, taco beat there. Bam. Taco shells. Bam. Well, that's a good looking taco right that's there. Good. Right? Rice to go with. Did you make the rice too, honey? She did. Good girl. You're, you're, you're kind of blocking my trimmings Sorry, there. Sorry, I just need a fork. Got all the trimmings. Got some olives there. You knocked over my taco. Good job, Zoe. And then we got some rice. So what, what do we have for dinner tonight? Tacos. And it's? Not from the taco truck. Tuesday. Tuesday, you're supposed Tuesday tacos. Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. Obviously, wow. All right, guys, so tonight's dinner. Let me do the math real quick here. A little over nine dollars. A little over nine dollars for everything here. That's the rice, 
the broth we put in the rice, you know, the avocados, the turkey meat, all the trimmings, the shells, and everything. And that's if we eat the whole box of shells. So if we, which we never do. So it could be buck fifty cheaper if we don't eat all the shells. See you guys tomorrow. Later. What's going on, people? Happy Hump Day. <laughs> hump Day. It's only Wednesday. It's only Wednesday. <laughs> um, so tonight we kind of went old school and we did a mountain of chicken. I uh, barbecued chicken with barbecue sauce and I made like 20 some pieces of chicken there. It kind of shrunk down, doesn't look like it, but there really is there. And that's because it'll either be dinner tonight and dinner tomorrow or dinner tonight and lunch is for everybody tomorrow. And we got some green beans to go with it and regular rice. So this is what you get for dinner right there. You get that, you get that right there. You, see, what, why? You're, you're doing an amazing job. Yay. <laughs> this is the way that they get to really know us. We, this have, is, uh, we have puking kids too, just like we, them. We, we, had, uh, we had two... Uh, <laughs> we had a rough night, guys. Yeah. And he was there bathing and wiping and yeah, cuddling. It was, it was a rough night. So he anyway, this is an easy dinner. I did the math. It's $14.40 for all this wonderful grub. So if you break that down, that's uh, $2.88 a person. And then if you get lunch, I like it. And if you get lunch tomorrow, that's a dollar forty-four. <laughs> so this is what he looked like with newborn babies. He came home from work. Right. He's like, that's like the newborn stages again. So not too bad. Three dollars <laughs> if we just make tonight's dinner and a couple lunches tomorrow, it's still three less than three dollars per three. meal. So I will take that any way. That's a street taco right now. Good job, baby, right here. Perfect. Till tomorrow. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Welcome to Love Day, right? Happy, uh oh, happy Valentine's Day, guys! So we are doing up a little special dinner tonight and dessert. So we did smoked steak, salad. I did some mushroom toppings for the steaks, baked potatoes, and we got a little, sh just a few shrimps left over from, or shrimp from uh, a dinner, frozen shrimp from dinner a couple weeks ago that we had left over. So we've got steak and toppings, baked potato, salad, and shrimp tonight for Valentine's. Woohoo! So I got ahead, went ahead, I went ahead and I wrote everything down this time because there was a lot that I had to remember. So our dinner comes in at $32.10. So that's for five people, and I didn't do the rest of the math. And then our dessert is $11. So what is, so what is that? So it's a little over $40 for dessert. Steak, shrimp, potatoes, salads, and all that good stuff. So, got that going for you. We will get you here in a few with dessert later. Here is the dessert tonight. We got some homemade Maybe. coconut ice cream, coconut vanilla ice cream in there. We got some gluten-free little brownies that are in the shape of a little bear. And then a couple banana twigs there and some sprinkles in there. And that's what we got going for dessert on Valentine's Day. Okay, you guys, happy Monday. Monday, Monday, you're getting tons of vlogs this week. <laughs> um, so, let me mode. I'm still getting used to this new crock pot. <laughs> it's digital. So, um, my husband is home because it is President's Day today and my kids are home and look at all the projects we got going on. So, my hubby's uh, donkey is full today. So, I am doing dinner, guys. <laughs> this is how I do dinner. <laughs> I pull it from the freezer, thaw it out for a little bit, and then I throw it in the crock pot. So sweet Hawaiian chicken crock pot from the family freezer. You know we love them. And it's just gonna go in the crock pot for six-ish hours or so, and then we will serve it with rice. We'll cook up some rice, and we'll show you guys tonight what that looks like. Hope you're having a great President's Day, and we will see you in a little bit. We're wrapping up tonight's dinner here. Got a couple things to say. First of all, happy President's Day to uh, any, any of you and all of you that have today off, like government workers, like myself. Anyway, happy that. Second is we had a really, really, really poor weekend with uh, health around here. We were really, really sick. So basically this week is going to be two weeks into one week because we missed about three days, four days. No one has eaten. Everybody was up chucking and all that good stuff. So we're back on our normal cycle. And then this dinner tonight, which you already know what it is because I can't remember what it is because she already told you what it is. There you go. So this is what it looks like when it's all done. And the crock pot looks good. Got your veggies and your chicken and whatnot in there. We're just going to throw it over some, some rice there. And then this is what your finished plate looks like. Got the rice in the bottom. And all your veggies and pineapples and, and whatnot on there. Looks delicious. 
Cost on this one, have no idea, because this was a freezer dinner we prepped back before I started tracking things this week, last week-ish. Yeah, if I had to guess, I'm gonna say probably 12 bucks. With the chicken and the veggies and the rice and everything, probably 12, 13 bucks. There's enough here for it looks like two dinners for us, so I don't know what that calculates to be, you know, 12, you know, whatever, buck 50 a piece, somewhere in there. So that is that, guys. So hopefully you guys are having a good week. Hoping you're feeling good, staying healthy, stay safe, and we will see you on Tuesday's dinner vlog later. Happy uh, Tuesday, not Taco Tuesday, just Tuesday. So we went back to just the old school basics tonight with some smoked burgers. Big old pile of smoked burgers right there. And we got some fresh salad. Got what we got left, the salad fixings. We're getting, kind of getting a little low in the old fridge there. We're gonna use these for boats for the burgers and then some green beans. So, what you got is this right here. You got your salad, green beans, and you got a lettuce boat there with some burgers and tomatoes and onions and avocado on there, maybe a little bit of ketchup mustard across top, and that's what you got, bam! So, so tonight's dinner will run you a total of $14.47, and that's for all the salad fixings, that's for the meat, that's for everything. So that comes down to $2.89 per person for dinner tonight. But the kicker is I made 12 burgers. We're not gonna eat 12 burgers tonight. So more than likely we'll eat dinner tonight. I'll have lunch tomorrow and probably one or two of the other kids will have lunch tomorrow or maybe partial dinner tomorrow. So really that $2.89 goes down because we're not gonna eat it all tonight. So you got that going for you. That's what's for dinner Tuesday later. Okay, you guys, happy, happy, Wednesday, chili beef roast on low in the crock pot. It's a family freezer dinner, and I got my trusty seat of a crock pot here ready, warming up. Peoples, welcome to the dinner vlog of this evening. It is what we would call as midweek vlog here, so I'm just trying to wrap up dinner here. Forgot to scoop that up. So we got the roast, the roast beast in here. Hey, I have to tell you something. I asked our people today on Instagram and Facebook what their favorite shows were because you know we're starting to kind of be able to watch TV again. Yeah. You know what somebody said? What? Josh on Dead is Dumb. Oh, nice. Nice. <laughs> High fives, <laughs> Psh, knuckles, Shout thumbs up, out. whatever. That's awesome. <laughs> okay, guys, so got uh, the roast beast that was cooked in with the carrots. And then we're just gonna go with the salad and some garlic bread. So basically, this is what we got going on for dinner. There's our homemade bread toasted up, chunk of meat with some uh, carrots from the pot there and a fresh looking little salad. So that is what we've got for dinner on hump day Wednesday. See you tomorrow. What's going on peoples? It is dinner 30. So tonight, I don't have the recipe out. Orange chicken and broccoli. But I'm gonna leave that. Hopefully you guys can see that right there because this is a recipe I cannot pin. It's one of our real meals from our subscription a while back and so I can't pin that for you guys, but hopefully that was enough for you guys to screenshot and see. My recipes will be from Pinterest, you guys, so you can actually have direct access. Perfect. We'll link them. Perfect. This one is an oldie but a goodie. That's why we keep, I, I keep hanging on to it, the kids and the wife seem to like it. So, sorry guys on that one. Um, but here is the chicken going down. Got the special sauce in the pan. Basically, just kind of reduces down and it like caramelizes on the chicken. Oh, smell the vision for you. Got some broccoli going over there. That is a hot pan. And then our rice in the instant pot. So once this all gets all dolled up, we'll get it all plated up. Everybody in the pool, and then we'll we'll get her done and we'll eat. So I do have to tell you, it came out pretty much just like the picture and just like it shows on the internet. Look at that. A little caramel caramelization going on there on the chicken. I tell you what, it smells good and it tastes delicious. And that caramel charcoal look comes from, I believe, all the honey that's in there. That honey starts cooking on there and it sticks to it. And mm -mm -mm. so, this is what's for dinner Thursday night. Later, people. Last it's the last night of the last night of the last night of the last night of the week. Two weeks. I should probably wrap this up, huh? <laughs> it's been a while since I wrapped up. I just kind of got forgot what, what to do there for a second. You guys got a long video this week. If you liked it, 
it's not gonna happen all the time. Let's just say that. So you can like it, but you know, it's gonna be a shorter one next week. So give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the little thumbs up little deal. Oh, the little bell doohickey deal, that's right. I, it, it gives you oh. notifications of when I throw up some new grub on the videos or on the on the tube. All right guys, we'll, we'll see you. We'll see you tomorrow, bye. -bye.